Hey, what's up? Welcome to top five tips on how to increase your punching power. So, right here we got a bob and uh, it's filled up with water up to here. Okay, so if you got one at home, you know how heavy this thing is. I think it's a uh, 200. Over 200 at least. Is it? Yeah, from what I can tell. Okay, well, you try, try to lift it. Okay, so it's pretty heavy, okay? So I don't know, you can go online and check how heavy this thing is, I don't know exactly. Okay, so with a nice and strong punch, you should be able to deliver your body momentum through the target and uh, be able to knock down this block, okay? So I'm just gonna demonstrate, okay? Okay, so notice that I have very minimal body movement, it's very non telegraphic and uh, I was able to knock down the block. That's about maybe 200 pounds or so. Okay, one time. So notice that I'm not doing a big wind up. I'm not uh, like starting from here and then moving it like that. Very little body movement, okay? Okay? So we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. Get really strong attacks and powerful punches. I'm only 135 pounds, so I'm considered a pretty light guy. But people tell me that I get pretty heavy for my weight. Okay, here's the final tip on how to increase your punching power. This tip is very, very important. And it is very simple, but it makes a big difference. It's about punching through your target and getting penetration. So what I mean is when you're punching something, your target should be about six to eight inches behind this contact area, all right? Because if you punch here and your contact area, your mind is just focused on the surface, you're just going to be able to hit the surface that won't get enough damage to make a person feel it. So when you're punching, you want to imagine that the contact point and the target is actually six to eight inches behind the contact point, okay? So, yeah, okay? And that will get you a lot more damage. Hey, thanks. Here's tip number three, how to improve your punching power. We're gonna talk about body momentum. Why do you need momentum? Well, if you're a small guy like me, I'm only 135 pounds, and you want to be able to knock out a guy that's twice your weight, you better use your whole body force into your punch, otherwise you won't do any damage at all, okay? So, how do you get the easy way to get mo body momentum? Is to actually move your body in the punch. Actually move your whole body, all right? Uh, in boxing, uh, they do a lot of rotation, which is good. And you get a nice, you get nice impact, but you don't get enough momentum. Uh, to be able to really move something and really shock somebody's body, okay? So what you want to do is you combine the moving of the body with your punch. Okay, how you do that is you take a step forward and then you're going to take a step back with your back foot. Okay, so you're going to take a step forward with your left foot and then as you punch, take a step with your right foot as you punch. Okay, so from the side is one step like that. Just make sure it's not a big step like this, or otherwise you're going to extend your legs out too far. So it's just a really small step. Tiny little half step, and this one is a tiny little half step. So one, two, that's it. One, two, okay? And on the two, we're gonna punch. One, two, okay? One, two, one, two. So let me demonstrate to you the difference of just the rotation, and now with the momentum. With the rotation, it's gonna be like this, okay? You see, there's impact, but the back doesn't move that much because I didn't transfer my body momentum into it. But with a step, we go. See how much more moves. And I just moved a little step. All right? Eventually, when you get into higher levels, you can make that step even smaller and still be able to transfer your body weight momentum into your target. So that's tip number three. Here's tip number two on how to increase your punching power. We talked about the body rotation, we talked about um, using your body momentum, and now we can talk about another thing, really important tip, which is called expansion and contraction. Now, let's just do an exercise, okay? Let's first of all, let's expand our chest as wide as we can go, expand our chest, and then at the same time, expand our knees out, so rotate your knees out like that. Okay, and when you do that, you're gonna feel your hips expand. Okay, and now also expand your whole 
legs this way and your chest this way. Okay, now that you're gone as far as you can, now we're gonna contract everything. So we're gonna suck in our chest like this, let it sink in. We're gonna sink in and wrap our wrap our uh, shoulders in. Okay, now we're gonna suck in our gut like this, and then we're gonna squeeze in our knees together. Okay, so now we're in the contracted position. All right, and now we're gonna expand again. Everything stretches out, the chest is expanded, your uh, belly is expanded, your hips are expanded, your knees are out. Expand like this. Then we're gonna contract again. So pull everything in, sink in the chest, round up your back. Your back goes from here, and then it rounds out. Okay, your back is nice and round, your spine is round, and then you suck in your gut this way. Suck it in, the hips go in like that, the knees go in like that, and now you're contracting. Alright, so how does this work? Because we're gonna, remember we take a step, we get the momentum. Now when we get this, take a step, we get a bit expansion. Just like that. Take a step, we expand it. Okay? So ex expand it. Now when we do the punch, we're going to contract. Okay, so without the hand movement, it's gonna be expansion, contraction. Okay, so step, step. Expansion, contraction. All right, so I'll show you on the target how this works. So without the expansion contraction, instead of just doing uh, with momentum, I'm just gonna do it lightly, like that, right? Now we're gonna do a little bit with the same amount of force with the expansion and contraction. Okay, I didn't use any more force, and you can see that there's more force delivered into the target. Okay, so that's expansion. Here's tip number four on how to improve the power in your punch. Tip number four is to improve your connection to the ground. Why is the ground so important? Is because that's where we want to draw up the energy. All right, through the, from the ground through our legs. So one good exercise is doing a nice squat. So get into your stance, and from that stance, slowly go down all the way. Then imagine you're picking up something really heavy, like two big buckets of water and then lift it up while keeping that water nice and heavy. Okay? Now, bring it up here. And you should feel a lot more stronger and a lot more solid. Okay, so do that about five times. So drop it, slowly, drop down. Okay? And then imagine you're picking up two buckets of water. Bring it up, like this. Now, if you're really heavy, you have to imagine it's heavy, right? So if it's heavy, you can't just lift it up with your back, you have to use your whole legs, right? So imagine you're lifting up, get your hips underneath, so you can lift it up like this. And breathe in, and then put your, go back to your position. Okay, now drop everything. Drop it. Okay, go down slowly. Pick it up. Heavy water. Heavy buckets of water. Now if it's heavy buckets of water, you won't be able to pick it up like this, right? Oh, it hurt your back. You won't be able to hit it like this because that'll hurt back too. So you need to have a nice round back and you need to be nice and straight in order to be able to pick up those heavy buckets of water. Okay, now that you have the position, bring your hands up while keeping the weight of the, of the imaginary water. And now you have, now you can feel a lot stronger, okay? So you can even test it out. Do a few punches without doing that and do five of those. And now I'm gonna punch you feel you can move things a lot further than if you didn't do it. Okay, that's a mental exercise. Alright, tip number five is having a good stance. Okay, this is very fundamental, but you know what? If you don't have a good stance, you won't be able to deliver power from your legs up to your fists. Alright, so let me show you the good stance again. What you want to do is to put your feet together, Open up 90 degrees on your heel. Open up again on your toe. Open up your heel. So that's three times, and then now 45 degrees. Okay, and now kind of bounce back and forth. Make sure it's nice and comfortable. You should be able to do a nice squat up and down without any stress on your back whatsoever. All right, bend your knees slightly, and shake your hips a little bit back and forth, and it should be nice and comfortable. All right, so that's your good stance. Make sure that it's nice and solid. Make sure that 
you're not leaning forward and you're not leaning back, and it's a 50-50. Right? Your front foot should turn slightly inwards. So if this, this is straight, it's gonna turn slightly inwards like that. Your back foot should be on a 45 degree, like this. Okay? And it shouldn't be straight. It should be on a 45, and it shouldn't be on a 90. Okay? This is a 90. This is straight, you want to be somewhere in the middle. Okay, so you combine those two. Okay, drop your hips, drop your knees, round up your back. Okay, see my back is nice and round, so you can see a C shape here from the spine. Okay, that delivers, that connects your upper body with your legs. It's having this C round back. And then wrap it around, and you're putting it on a backpack, and tuck it in like this and then suck in your gut. Alright, so that's number one, I mean number five, how to have this. Hey, thanks for watching my video on the five tips of how to increase your punching power and develop a knockout punch. If you like this lesson, make sure you check out my other lessons right here. And if this is first time here, make sure you check the, uh, click the subscribe button right here to get the latest and coolest self-defense and fighting techniques. Alright, so we see you soon in the next video.